<clears throat> Hello everyone, my name is Cody Campbell, and welcome back to the to another custom campaign created by Spoon. This time we are tackling the undead on hard mode. I am joined today with Sir Campbell. Yep, and as like I just said, we are tackling now the undead chapter of the custom campaign. And uh, before we start, we wanted to address our thoughts on the human campaign. Would you like to take it away first, Hayden? Yeah. Up to missions one through four, it was actually pretty well done. It was not till mission five that we started to feel that the maps were starting to get a little broke. So I feel like Mission 5 need, attack ways need to be a lot more tighter. Yeah, I will agree. I was kind of disappointed that there was no endless wave. Yeah, it should be three times that size. Not to mention there was no enemy heroes either. Plus, they didn't get any upgrades. Yeah, I also saw that. And so, Spoon, um, if you're watching this, please do some adjustments to that. Anyway, anything else you want to add, Hayden? Um, you're still probably Mission wanting... 8 needs to be... Mission 8 still needs to be fixed a little bit with some of the creeps not dropping anything. Yeah, I read somewhere that there was there was, someone did make a complaint that the revenant was not dropping an item or something. You are cutting off, Cody. I am. And the, yeah, the, there was a complaint that the reverent was not dropping an item. Yep. And also, we still didn't know how to unlock the crate or cage, whatever it was. Yeah. We didn't even find any artifacts in the last mission, either. I didn't find anything on my side. It was probably on your side, Cody. Maybe. But anyway, um, I think we should start this mission, don't you? Well, anyway... Yeah. Now, I'm going to make a rule. When we get to the final mission of every single campaign, I'm going to redo the missions again to find any good items that we not... Uh, We haven't found yet. I'm only gonna do it once per campaign, if that's fine with you, Cody. That's all right. All right. Let's start. Let's begin. This mission can't, I believe, is tied for th is tied with two other missions being the hardest. On hard. Chapter one, trudging through the ashes. I Lich believe it's tied with two other missions being Lich King's plague of the, the hardest on death hard has spread through the capital city and into the outskirts of Lordaeron. Shocked and disheartened by the loss of their beloved king, the forces of Lordaeron were scattered by the ravenous undead warriors. Now, Lordaeron is but shadow of its former glory, and Prince Arthas has yet to be seen. How's that intro? Well, I, you didn't you didn't listen to what I said before. I, I, I heard what you said. It was, this is like one of the hardest missions to do. Right out of the gate. You're still cutting off. This mission is hard right out of the gate. Yeah, because there's, there's a lot of units, and Arthas doesn't have a lot of mana to death coil. So you can't just fast-pace this mission. You have to think strategically. No, you can if you want to speedrun it. Well, but if you want to find everything, you have to go very slow. I managed to do it. Well, I'm but not also like keep an you, eye on. For artifacts, Cody. I know.
This map is taking a while because it's actually a pretty small map. Yes, it is. I just hope I don't lag as much. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, that's cool. Ready? Yes. You ready? Yes! I said yes the first time. The delay is gonna be a problem. What trickery is this? Malganus! I don't know how you survived, but I- Calm yourself, Prince Arthas. I am Tychondrius. Like Malganus, I am a Dreadlord. But I am not your enemy. In truth, I've come to congratulate you. Congratulate me? By killing your own father and delivering this land to the Scourge, you have passed your first test. The Lich King is pleased with your... enthusiasm. Yes. I've damned everyone and everything I've ever loved in his name. And I still feel no remorse. No shame. No pity. The rune blade that you carry was forged by the Lich King and empowered to steal souls. Yours was the first one it claimed. Then I'll make do without one. What is the Lich King's will? The Cult of the Damned must be rallied once again. Many of the Acolytes have been in hiding amongst the populace. Once you've rallied them... Well, that's quite obvious what, uh, where the artifact is. Hold on! Music was way too loud. Okay, I'm good. Yeah, you're just a regular skeleton for me. Uh, Cody? Can you hear me? I hear you. Okay. Yeah, well, it's quite obvious where the artifact is. Greetings, great lord. Our master, Kel'Thuzad, told us that you would come. Kel'Thuzad, be wary. How could he if have known If the townsfolk it? see your undead minions, they'll call the local guards to stop That's you. That's cool. It looks like you got a green orb hanging over your sword. And surprisingly, we don't start with any ghouls. Yeah, you're gonna be the tank, Cody, because I can heal you. You first. Prince Arthur's, arm yourselves! Ah! This damn lag! do a lot of damage anyway. Should I? Hey, hold on to that, because you don't have anything that uses mana. Seek out the local graveyards. Those Thank buried you. there will serve you well. What needs revealing? All shall be revealed. I go unseen. My sight is 
yours. Let's see. I'll look into it. Let's see. All shall be revealed. Stop now! Didn't drop the greater part of map of healing. I needed that. There's, there's one down here. Wait, what? Oh, can I sneak it? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it gets buildings do uh, normal damage. Huh? I mean... But there's a flesh skull right there where the cutscene took place. It's quite obvious where it is. This is gonna allow us to gain some health back, though. How could you murder your own father? Nice! <laughs> I'm glad I kill you, buddy. Go around it? I think you can go around. Go through it, Kelly. So you can go through. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. There's no. Boy, I can get. I can budge through. I guess while you're hacking that away. I'm doing like 14 damage to this thing every hit. Fourteen. It varies. You do 13 to 16 damage per hit.
that's less than half of what that's almost that's pretty much half of what you do against normal. Besides, you attack quicker than I do. Yeah, so you can move over a little bit. Nope, I can't, we can't attack it at both at the same time. Nope. Move, so I can get it. I think it. you do it faster. Yeah, you move faster. You attack quicker. Well, everyone, I'm sorry to say this while you're watching us destroy a building for the next five minutes. Yeah, because you don't start with any ghouls to make this go faster. At least I'm getting man back. Right? Yeah. I think that's it. The one needs to drop something. <laughs> what? Why am I supposed to drop a ring of protection, but it didn't work? So we wasted five minutes for nothing. Uh, switch it's back to a magic cutting. Good eye. <laughs> Good eye. Actually, I think you have one armor. Actually, you should have it. Yeah, I have. I have one less armor than you. Good eye, buddy. Yeah, that was a good eye. Spoon must have hit it somewhere else. I'll take that rod for it. No. Oh. Alright, get out of there. Get out of there. I'll run for it. Oh. oh, wait, our shades. <laughs> our shades, Cuddy. I shall be your eyes. I see him. I would say run for it. Okay, they're leashing, they're leashing, leave them be. Okay, leave them be, leave them be. Leave them be, they're leashing. Just run for it, just run. I'm in luck. These graves were dug recently. Arise in the name of the Lich King. Man, these, this lag is gonna cost me. No, 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 no. No, sir.
I suggest running to me, Hurley. You really have a death wish, don't you? Well, I'm already dead. Just come to me, please. Thanks. I got some reinforcements. Now let's go in there and, and tear them up. Hello? No, 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 no! Bandits, too many of them. Run. Don't forget, we gotta get the I the artifact too. I know. We gotta keep these ghouls alive in order to get to that, in order to do that. Best to leave our heroes up. Okay, best to leave with our heroes. There's one right here. Best to leave with our heroes, because those bandits can kill our skeletons very easy. I told you! Take it, you have more agility than I do. Man, it's like every action I do... Makes you attack a little quicker. It, 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 it the game lags. That's uh, not my problem, Teddy. Um, are you missing a creature? No, that's just a shade. You're missing your shade. It, no, we're not going back there. We'll get, we'll get overrun. Then where is, are we not getting the artifact? It's over here! I thought it was down here. It's where those golems are. No, it was right, you see this area here? There's a flesh golem in the cutscene. I didn't see a flesh golem at all. Well, I do. Use our heroes. <laughs> ah! Nice, your goal can take Lumber with us. Switch to magic, Cody, you can do damage to him. Here we go. 
You are using the attack command, right? Yes. Okay. Must be. Scroll family, you take a pot of mana. I think you should hang on to those. Take a pot of mana yourself. Uh, move your skeleton. There you go. This way. All right. We'll cut separately. It's gonna be a while. Yeah. So, guy. Let's take it all in. We can use our shades to scout while this while we're doing this. Those trees have a hundred health. So we're gonna be here a while. Uh, we're just, we should just attack the same tree, Cuddy. I'm waiting for that narrator up here. You know what I'm talking about, right? What? Two oh, meters. oh, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. Stop, 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 stop. The trees are open over here. Yeah. Alright, bring everyone out. Well, not really. This tree needs to be cut down beside me. Well, I can't fit. Cut this tree beside me. Uh, my skeleton. I would not suggest the skeleton warriors because they'll get destroyed. For instantly. The ghouls, they're fine. Alright? <laughs> the skeleton warriors are too fragile. Move your ghoul, please. Thank you. Aren't you missing somebody? A skeleton warrior? Oh, that's a lot of health! Oh, that's a lot of health! Can you banish him? Yeah. Oh, that's great. This lag is gonna be caught. He has no armor anyway, so he's taking full damage. Well, goodbye to your skeleton warrior. Let's see. We use consume a nearby corpse to heal 150 health. Oh, increasing the maximum number of health by 200. So it can. So it's pretty much a death pack, but a very weak version of it. I mean, it's actually better than level one death pack. Well, not really. Um. Wait a minute. I think you should have this. You're a bit more of the tank than I will. Wait a minute. It you says... consume a living cor. You consume a living corp. Consume a nearby corpse to heal 150 health. Not a living corpse, a dead corpse. I said a corpse. Also increases your ma Yeah, I said a corpse. Also increases the health by 200. Then why'd you compare it to a death pack? I thought it was like that. Yeah, so that's how you see a free heal right there. Alright, let's get the rest of the acolytes. Yeah. Well, you have no skeleton warriors left. Because we're already 30 minutes in. Kill 
them all! Fish in the map anyway, so I'll hold on to it. Wait, does that work? That, that works. I think I have to rescue. That's it. That's it. Well done, Death Knight. The cult is nearly assembled. Lordaeron lies in ashes. They what good are these cultists to us now? Next undertaking. And what's that? You will go to Anderhal and recover the remains of the Acolyte's former master, the necromancer, Kel'Thuzad. That was pretty good. Yes, it was. So I was right about the artifact's placement, wasn't I? Yeah, I thought it was... Because you said, because when you said where the, I thought it was by the lumber mill for some reason. Nope. Hello? No, I'm still here. I, I, did you hear what I said? Yeah, I did. I thought it was, you were cutting off. You, you said something that it was by the lumber mill or something. A bit. No. Yeah. Because the last I knew in the in the opening cutscene I saw a flesh golem behind trees. I was like, oh, that's definitely the artifact. Alright. So we're gonna call this in a, a video. Yeah, I think we're done for the day. Alright guys, well I guess we'll see you guys next time. Alright. And uh sorry for all the lag. Right. And a long wait. Hey. Right. Goodbye. Bye.